Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 247. I'm here to give you guys a highly requested video today of what's on my launch pad. Uh, you guys asked either on my channel or Twitter or even some comments on some other videos. I think I got a few private messages too about doing a what's on my launch pad video and here it is. So for those people that have been waiting the past uh, couple weeks for this video, I just want to say I'm sorry because I've been sick the last couple weeks and I still even have some other stuff going on with school and stuff. So I finally have some free time so I found my want to make this video. So going back to what's on my launch pad, I really don't have all of my applications on one page um, as I do uh, like on my iPhone or iPad, but I do have it on three pages and as you can see if I were to clean this up I would be able to fit all my applications on two pages at least, but that's besides the point. So let's get on with the first one which is address book. I uh, don't really use this application too much, um, just use it for making contacts. Uh, the Mac App Store, uh, for people who know who that is, that is the uh, shopping center or the a store that you can buy uh, new Mac programs on. Automator, that's like a, a task uh, automated thing that you can set tasks to open up automatically or if you hit certain commands, it does that. Uh, calculator, pretty self-explanatory. Chess, pretty self-explanatory. Dashboard is the widgets. Uh, you can either click it through here or doing a gesture on the Magic Trackpad or Magic Mouse. Uh, the dictionary, that's pretty self-explanatory. DVD player, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, FaceTime, FaceTime is the uh, iPhone to iPad or Mac to Mac or Mac to iPhone. A uh, video chatting thing that Apple uses. I don't really use this too much. I mainly use it um, if I want to do something on my iPhone, but I mainly use Skype if I want to do uh, any video calling. Uh, font book, this is a program on the Mac that um, keeps all your fonts. So if you download any new fonts, uh, they go in here. A uh, garage band for making music, iCal, place of expansory, iChat is uh, the instant messaging client that uh, all Macs come with. iDVD, you don't really use this anymore because DVDs are dying. Image capture for transferring photos, uh, iMovie 2011, don't really use this anymore since I switched over to Final Cut Pro. Uh, iPhoto, this is the photo editor that comes in iLife, mainly used this for organizing my pictures that I use this quite a bit iWeb don't really don't really use this too much anymore because I don't uh, make websites with iWeb anymore. I like the own customized route. But if you're just a uh, starting off web designer or any just want to get a quick blog up, I definitely recommend iWeb for doing something quick. Uh, mail is a email client that comes on every Mac that's pretty self-explanatory. A uh, photo booth uh, is a picture taking app, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, preview is a PDF viewer or picture viewer that comes on every Mac. This is like a quick way you can view photos and PDFs without opening iPhoto or Aperture or anything like that. A uh, QuickTime player is the default uh, video player that comes on every Mac. I don't really like this app. I mainly use a few other programs that I'll get into a bit later. Safari, my default web browser that I use to upload all my YouTube videos and just do all my occasional browsing. Uh, that I like this version of Safari a lot better because um, in the other version, didn't, if you had two Macs, it didn't sync with both computers. But since I have a MacBook Air now, um, I, if I want to put something in my reading list on there or even on the uh, iDevices I own, it syncs up, which I think is really cool. Uh, in the utilities folder, I've got some basic utilities. I won't go through all these, but you get the activity monitor for going through tasks. Uh, the airport utility for going uh, through router, uh, managing my router, disk utility, uh, the boot camp assistant, and the migration assistant. This be um, some things that come on every Mac. Uh, text editor is a quick text editor if I want to make notes or something, I can just throw it in there. Uh, Fonka Pro, this is what I use to all edit all my videos. This is version 10, I believe. Um, time Machine for backing up the data, that's based off expansory. Mission Control is basically uh, Spaces, Expose, and Dashboard combined into one app. Um, Solver is a Microsoft Excel like add-on that allows you to do more complex formulas if you needed to. I think that comes bundled with it, but I don't know why it's not in with all the other uh, Excel stuff that I have on my computer. Uh, motion for creating my intros, this is what I use to create my intros, uh, but you can basically create the same intros in Final Cut Pro as I showed uh, previously in another video. A uh, compressor for compressing uh, videos. This is a sort of a CPU heavy application. It lets me to uh, take a video and compress it down to uh, other sizes and formats and uh, it saves a lot of space on a hard drive if you're doing any big uh, files. Uh, iTunes says space of explanatory. Aperture is the like a deluxe version of iPhone. It comes with a lot more editing features and just has a lot more uh, pro features that iPhone doesn't have. Uh, system preferences, that's like a control panel, that's pretty self-explanatory. 
uh, developer is uh, there's all the developer tools that you need to create the iPhone SDKs like dash code uh, for making dashboard widgets uh, instruments for um, doing some debugging and just making sure your program compiles right uh, the quartz composer not really sure what this does because I don't really use it that much and Xco for creating the applications itself um st stickies for sticky notes I don't really use this too much because um I just usually keep things open on a second monitor with text edit or I use Evernote's uh, going on to the next page we got acrobat.com I don't know what this does I think it's just hanging out here uh, After Effects is all the um, programs relating to After Effects like the render engine, the actual program, uh, Mocha for Effects, and the Uninstaller. Uh, graphics and Designs, these are basically all my Adobe applications, uh, Dreamweaver, uh, Illustrator, Photoshop CS4, InDesign, uh, Bridge, and just some other installers and some packages. And uh, Coda is another program that I threw in here. This is like, a, um, a, like an HTML editor that sometimes I use. Again, not this. Adobe Flash CS4. I don't really use this, so it's basically sitting here. It actually has all the uh, different versions of Flash and even the latest version, so which I think is kind of nice. Adobe Media Player. Don't really know what this does. Uh, Adobe Media Encoder. I think this is another plugin for After Effects. Evernote is a good way to sync notes between my iMac, my MacBook Air, my iPhone, and my iPad. Office 2011 is right here. Uh, basically, if you know it comes to Office, you basically get these apps, but these are the Mac versions of the Windows programs. Uh, Microsoft Ser Serverlite, this is what you need in your browser for you to watch Netflix on a Mac or PC. So this is the Mac version. Sometimes I watch Netflix on my computer. Uh, the entertainment folder, I have Empire X, which this is why I use to watch all my videos. This is a really, really handy application. Um, basically, it reads any file format and basically lets me put um, this program in full screen mode on my second monitor, but it allows me to be able to still use my iMac for whatever I needed to do, like I'm um, uh, making a website or coding something. I can still use this, but able to have a movie playing on the side, which I think is really nice. Uh, MPEG Stream Clip is a movie watcher and also a converter, mainly use it for the converting features because you can get really good audio out of it. Uh, Ustream Producer from when I'm doing live broadcast. I might start doing these again. Uh, just post your feedback in the comments of what you guys think of me doing some live broadcasts. Uh, Handbrake is a converter that I use to convert video uh, to the Apple TV because the Apple TV requires a special format and this handles it beautifully, does it really quick because it's 64 bit. Um, so, yeah, this is maybe I'll use that for just to convert movies over to the Apple TV. Uh, memory free or free memory, this is a program that I have up in my menu bar which allows me to see how much memory I'm using. And if I'm running low, I can actually tell this program to free up any memory that's being not used, and it actually works quite well. It's, I think it's free in the Mac App Store if you guys want to check it out. Uh, GetTube is a YouTube downloading application. If I want to get some audio out of a YouTube video, I may label put it through this and then download it. Uh, Ringer is a iPhone ringtone application. But I used to make green tones. I think I made a video on this on my channel. So if you search Ringer on my uh, on my channel, you find this video. Uh, AOL Radio. This is what I used to listen to AOL Radio, but I don't really use AOL Radio too much anymore. Um, touch Grind. This is a skateboarding app that takes advantage of the multi-touch gestures that come on a Magic Trackpad. Microsoft Office. The other. This is like all the background uh, stuff that goes on with Microsoft Office. Uh, Geekbench for uh, for. Geek benching my Mac King, a good score, I guess. Uh, this is like a uh, benchmark application, I guess. Um, Newsrack, this is a fairly new application that I bought. This is a um, program that allows me to um, get RSS feeds into the affiliate app and I can tweet it out or I can post it on Facebook um, if I so choose to. Um, Asset Snow, this is a iPhone jailbreaking program for my, if I want to jailbreak my iPhone or iPad. I mainly use this with my iPhone 4 because my, iPhone, my iPad 2 is not able to be jailbroken. Uh, Super Jump World, this is a pretty funny application I was going through this and it's also available on the iPhone. Uh, this is a program, uh, this is a game that basically just takes Mario but it's a leprechaun instead of an Italian plumber and puts him in some of the same scenarios as Mario. It's actually pretty funny if you guys want a good laugh at um, something or just something new to play, definitely check out Super Jump World. Uh, wallpapers HD Lite, this is what I use to get some of the wallpapers I use on my computer. 
Uh, my hack, this is a program that allows me to take a flash drive, uh, 8 gigabytes in size, and turn it into a uh, bootable Hackintosh. I can uh, have a Mac OS X on any computer um, as, as long as that thumb drive is inserted to the computer. A uh, screen flow. This is Screenflow version 3.0. Just bought this today. This is a very nice program. Very, uh, the unit, the uh, UI is very, very polished from the last version. It actually runs a lot faster. I haven't exported with a yet because this is my first recording, but um, I'm, I'm excited to see what the export times are. ITV. This is the program that I use to record my HTTP VR um, with my with this program on the Mac. Um, if you're on Windows, you have to use the preferred software. But this provides uh, HD quality at both 1080 and 720, but I mainly export at 720. But this is a really nice program. I think this is like uh, 50 bucks, but it's totally worth it. Uh, utility folder that I have, it's have a few other things. Uh, Dropbox, uh, the Ami Disk Sweeper. This is like a hard drive managing application and Tiny Umbrella for jailbreaking. And VMware Fusion for running uh, Windows on my Mac. Uh, Smart Converter, this is another converter uh, program. Uh, Skype, that's pretty self-explanatory. Special remote streamer, um, slash that remote streamer, I should say, is a, just a VNC client that I can run on my iPad and it allows me to use any program that's on my Mac and it actually resizes it to the iPad screen, which I think is kind of nice. Uh, Spotify, I don't really use Spotify, but it's pretty self-explanatory what this is. Uh, Transmission is a torrent downloader. Uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter for Mac is what I used to send all my tweets from my Mac. You can follow me on Twitter. Um, I'll put my link down in the description box. Uh, Soundflower Bad, this is a uh, program called Soundflower, basically it allows me to take audio that's playing on my computer and allows me to actually stream it uh, live over Ustream or uh, live stream wherever, or vocal whatever you decide to use. Uh, iPhone Explorer, when we get into the roots of my iPhone, if I decide to jailbreak it. Uh, the OS X Lion installer, uh, I have this in here because I needed it for a tutorial. Uh, text Wrangler is a text uh, uh, um like a better text edit, it basically reads um, a lot of different files and allows me to edit code uh, really quickly. So this is a pretty cool application. Uh, Motion FX, uh, the, I did an app review on this. This is a pretty, uh, this is a pretty cool webcam application. Uh, so Cam Choice basically does the same thing. Google Chrome is my default, uh, is my not my default, my second browser in case Safari just decides to work or I'm doing some website stuff, I mainly use Chrome. Audacity for recording audio. Uber Strike, this is a game I never played. I don't know why it's here because I never played it before. Uh, Mamp Pro, this is um, Mamp Pro, Mamp, and Mamp, and this program right here, sorry guys, um, is all just uh, managing your website locally, but this is the uninstaller, and these are the two uh, programs that you need. I'll go to Assist Express Expert. Um, this is like a program that I can use to um, use my Mac on um, any computer from any computer, which I think is pretty nice. Um, FileZilla is an FTP client. App Cleaner, which is basically uh, when you drag a program to the trash can on the Mac, it doesn't delete it all the way. It just basically um, gets rid of it, but this gets rid of all the files associated with it, which cleans up a lot of hard drive space. And under our X, which is a RAR extractor. So, yeah, guys, that's basically my what's on my launch pad and I know this is kind of long because I went through every single application but um, in case you guys want any specific tutorials any recommendations on some other apps uh, just put them down below and I will see you guys in the next video